Hello out there everybody, Manny here at Area 503, and I hope you all have been well since our last video. Today I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about a recent documentary titled Countdown to Disclosure put out by Blake and Brent Cousins over at Third Phase of Moon. I got a chance to watch the documentary last night and I wanted to take a little bit of time to review it for you folks. The Cousins brothers were nice enough to let me use the whole trailer for this video, so let's take a peek. I think it's terrifying. I mean, this seems potentially like one of the biggest stories of my lifetime. And I don't care if it's about UFOs or whatever you call it. Something that we don't understand is getting very close to our military aircraft. The technologies related to energy generation should come out first. This hybrid aerospace underwater craft is able to basically generate an electromagnetic field. It is uh, President Trump's belief that the United States must remain as dominant in space as we are on land and sea and the air. And your charge is to see to that mission with the United States Space Force. I mean, there were three people on my team assassinated, and I was almost killed. With a lot of people that would like to know what's going on. It's a matter of national security. But apparently, just recovered, are off-world vehicles not made on this Earth. The president will respond to the subject the way they want them to. There's a black box with all the technologies that would give us a civilization that's sustainable, peaceful, etc., and that's been around for decades. Everybody's asking the biggest question in the world. Are we alone? Look, it's holding, it's that just all out there. The narrative that's being launched, which is a false narrative, is that we're not alone and that those civilizations are a threat. The problem is, is that the public has to be informed and involved. Uh, it could be a brief statement saying, hallelujah, I'm, you know, I'm finally vindicated. I don't, I, I'm not completely convinced they're gonna let this stay like it is. With the people who are surrounding that level of, of our politicians and government are not told like the movie Independence Day, where Will Smith goes, let's go kick alien butt. I don't know about you guys, but that got my blood pumping. But you know me, I'm a little skeptical, so I tried to contain my excitement until I actually watched the movie. And I gotta tell you guys, right from the very beginning, I was riveted. The guys over at Third Phase have managed to put together an amazing cast for this movie, including Michael Sala, Jim Goodall, Paul Blake Smith, and Dr. Stephen Greer. There's new interviews with all of them, and the Cousins brothers have found a way to tell the story about the current state of ufology in a way that is captivating and intriguing both to people like me who eat, breathe, and live ufology, but also to a casual audience. There's something in this movie for anybody who has even the slightest interest in UFOs. And let me tell you, that's no easy task to accomplish. And this means the movie could do very well in the mass market. It's already hit number four on the iTunes bestseller documentary list. And that's good for disclosure, and that's good for ufology. Because for once, it's not History Channel or A&E or Fox News telling the story. It's one of us, and that's cool. And I'm really hoping this thing explodes. So what's the production value like? Well, I gotta tell you guys, I'm a harsh critic of production value, editing, scoring, pacing, writing, everything. So I hold a very high bar, and it's hard to impress me. But that's exactly what this movie did. It impressed me. Countdown to Disclosure rivals or surpasses anything put out by the mainstream studios. So without giving away too many spoilers, what's in the movie? They talk about UFOs, the cover-up conspiracy, false flag alien attacks, suppressed and secret technologies, artificial intelligence and robotics, politics and UFOs, the deep state, the TTSA, and Space Force. So what's not in it? Bigfoot? <laughs> 
It's a cram-packed movie that just keeps dropping bombshell after bombshell, including a few by Stephen Greer that I had to rewind a few times because I was thinking to myself, holy sh**, did Stephen Greer just say that? There are a lot of people who are putting information out that uh, is of questionable value. Uh, some people have done a very good job trying to move it forward. My biggest concern is people will take a lot of the evidence that we've collected, including some of the top secret witnesses, military and intelligence, and then they'll spin it into this false narrative of a threat. And that's what TTSA is doing. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of the, the people in the UFO subculture is doing. And the media covers that preferentially because the intelligence community that's embedded in the media wants that narrative out. Wow. And there was another clip where Dr. Greer was talking about a sort of deep state and said that it sounds crazy. But it doesn't sound all that crazy to me, especially after I watched a documentary called The Family on Netflix. Anyhow, Countdown to Disclosure is a fantastic movie and I highly recommend that you guys give it a watch if you get a chance. If you do, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'll put links in the description for Third Phase of Moon and for the site where you can watch the movie online if you want to go check it out. I'd just like to take this chance to give a huge thank you to Blake and Brent Cousins. Like I said earlier, they allowed me to use the full Countdown to Disclosure trailer for this video review. That was way cool of them to do. I got a content ID claim once from the History Channel for using too much of the Project Blue Book media release trailer. The media release trailer. The trailer they released to the media to use to review the program. <laughs> and they didn't even want to claim the revenue from the video. They blocked it from being played. But the Cousins Brothers allowed me to use the whole trailer. And get this, I sent them an email asking if I could use a short clip from the movie itself. They responded saying, sadly, we can't let you use that clip, but here's a bunch of other clips you can use. <laughs> How cool is that? So yeah, thank you to the Cousins Brothers for being so cool and for making a kick butt movie. <laughs> well guys, for now, that's all I got. So I'll catch y'all later. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503, and I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth.